you've been part of the left movement in tripura for decades now and uh, uh, served as an mp and also as a minister in both uh, the dasrat dev and uh, manik sarkar ministries but uh, now there is a different situation in both the state and the country the left in tripura has especially uh, uh, had to bear the full force of un- violence unleashed by the bjp could you tell us more about how the cpim and left uh, is fighting for democratic rights and people's issues in your state actually why tripura is now that is uh, the uh, under attack and from all front the rss and bjp they are trying to negate the achievements made by the left front governments under the our great leaders like nipen chakravarti dasarath dev and manik sarkar it is because we have been posing the alternative to the present system of our country which are producing the poors which are enlarging the inequality among the people so in this system of course we know we are very much conscious about that this system it is very difficult and uh, the opportunity is not that much but within that the maximum benefit can be accrued or the outages could be made that have been attempted by the successive left wing governments so that's why the attack was initiated by the rss bjp and now last 6 years the tripura is being trailing under the uh, this rss bjp regime so there are the differences what we have been witnessing the tripura people is witnessing that is that number 1 during the period of the left then the democracy whatever the constitutional rights are bound it was accessed by the people it was ensured by the government now it is totally absent in each and every front the elections they are under the bjp they are totally first last by election 2019 lok sabha election and all these local body elections it is just a what else say sort of the bjp style of game has been played there there no scope for the common people lab leave the lab for the common people who raise voice against the uh, this regime they are not allowed to vote allowed to raise their voice like this then secondly whatever now the governance there is no democratic rule so for the name sake there are three tier panchayat there are tribal council in the tribal areas there are civic bodies but it is name sake everything is it is dealt from the mandal that is mandal means the bjp's headquarter what bjp cadres they decide that is the rule right from the panchayat secretary to the chief secretary each and every one they are divided by the dictate of the mandal the bjp cadres then third is that the rss bjp of course we know them not only uh, now uh, at the center or, or in the states they are what is their uh, what is a dream or what is their ideology and what is their ultimate goal that we know since the formation of the rss in 1925 during the tumultuous period of our national struggle for the freedom they never the agreed to our uh, that is formation or adoption of the uh, constitution they never that is uh, accepted the our tricolor they never accepted the very theme or very what else say, backbone of our constitution or our nation the uh, secularism and the 
होटल्स फेडरल सिस्टम एंड होटल्स दि पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल वर्क दैट दे कैन राइज दे कैन रेज देर वॉइस एक्सेट्रा सो टोटल ए ऑथोरिटेरियन थिंकिंग राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग वी हैव सीन टू दैम एंड नाउ स्लोली स्लोली दे आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस थिंग दे आर एट द सेंटर इन द पार्लियामेंट वी हैव बीन विटनेसिंग बाई एनाक्टिंग ड्रकोनियन लॉस बाई नॉट होल्डिंग एन ए डिबेट इन द पार्लियामेंट बाई डिमिनिशिंग ऑल दिस पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम दैट इज दैट इज वन शॉर्ट ऑफ द देयर पॉलिसी और वन शॉर्ट ऑफ देयर मॉडर्स ऑफ अरेंडी एनदर मॉडर्स ऑफ अरेंडी दे आर वी हैव बीन विटनेसिंग इन त्रिपुरा दैट एनी प्रोग्राम सर रिसेंटली सम प्रोग्राम्स initiated by the bjp aiming at the uh, forthcoming lok sabha election either it is uh, the ayodhya issue either it is the uh, what else bikashit uh, bharat that is developed country for the 21st century so everywhere what slogan they that is uh, chant there in their party office that slogan same slogan they chant from the assembly they chant from any government or any public meeting so there is no demarcation between the party government legislature everything as if it is oriented for making the india what the rss has dreamed so india slowly slowly in different manner at the center in the parliament some way they are doing in other way since tripura is being a very small state and once it is ruled by the left for decades and there are some sort of new agenda alternative agenda some sort of this that it holds a, a kind of the public life which people got accepted and recognized by the universally now they are trying to destroy everything that we have been witnessing uh, how has the uh, left been uh, uh, leading the people struggles against this uh, anti democratic uh, uh, things being done by both the central and uh, uh, state governments uh, uh, and uh, how how much has it been successful of course initially the left as a whole and the people as a whole we are shocked because it was unseen it was never seen before never that is expected before so that we have been witnessing and they have initiated initially with demolishing the party offices by physical assault upon scores of our the workers our leaders and destroying our public properties and in many way so initially it was a big shock that uh, people were in the with the left and the people as a whole we are that is very much uh, what else what to do but now slowly we are gaining the strength and despite of all odds odd means in one hand the goons led by the bjp rss they don't allow us even having the permission from the local police station from the administration if we bring out any uh, protest rally any program etc that also attacked and the police just the look as a silent on looker so that way all the democratic activity it has been banned almost banned in the state of tripura in other hand even our party and left having the permission of the authority that is administration we undertake any program again our leaders are booked 
and the law. In different uh, law, that is, people are harassed, even though the participation of the people and number of our action program, people's program, it is increasing and we are gaining the people's support. And that has been reflected in the last assembly elections, in the, in the result of the last assembly election, despite of so many attempts by the central government. Small state, it is our population is less than uh, any district of any big state. So that's why managing all this thing, controlling all this thing for a, a government like the BJP led government and party like BJP and RSS, it is little bit easier. So despite of all this thing, we took the issue to the people, people and people has accepted it. And which resulted in that BJP's vote share has been reduced by 11% in last election. But of course, then question may come from other and then why left failed to regain or come back. It is because that because of the say fascist, fascistic terror and other thing and the initial shock of the uh, the, because of the incidents. So, our, that is, uh, moment among the people, that frequency is also reduced. So, for the time being, there was a gap between the common people and our party and left. So, there we have seen in our review in last election that section of people who were misled in 2018 election, BJP when BJP came in the power for the first time, those sections who were misled, they have come back again. They voted for the uh, left, particularly the middle class. Then another section, the business class, it also uh, it is a good composition there, small and marginal, not talking about the big business class that is small and marginal. This section also, which were eluded by the BJP earlier, this section come back. But unfortunately what happened, the common commoners, that is uh, peasantry, the uh, small farmer, marginal farmer, agriculture worker, tea garden worker, etc. Though we have seen during the campaign, in the last leg of the campaign, some sort of the uh, what say, relation with them we have we could maintain. But there, the atmosphere was made such a way that the money, muscle power, and so many other things, this section of voters who are we, uh, that is uh, our natural friends, we could not get them, get their vote returned in that number. That, that is, has played some sort of, I would say, uh, incident. Then second is the tribal vote. You know, in Tripura, there uh, earlier also, to combat the, uh, that is, uh, to uh, <coughs> defeat the left. During the period of the Congress also, they played the tribal people in the name of so many other things, separate state, other things. And this time again, the demand in different shape, it was raised by one newly built, newly formed tribal party that is in the, in the name of the Tipura Motha. They have given the slogan of, raised the slogan of the Greater Tipura land, that is by bifurcated the state and other state for the tribals alone. And that was not directly uh, approved or directly uh, endorsed by the BJP. But BJP somehow given the, the results, uh, that kind of the assurance to them that if BJP is returned to the power, that demand of the Greater Tripura and other way, it will be 
uh, what will say agreed. So this way, this section of board, they are very much against BJP, but they were misguided, and that way, the voters, the the share of the vote of the very common people and tribal sir majority they are poor, and their vote not came to the BJP. It was divided, and that way. With the minority vote, minority vote share, BJP managed to that is come back to the power. So this is the thing. Now last one year, the tribal people and other section who are misguided and misled and elude, they are real, realizing in last one year, this government in all front, in all front, either agriculture, industry. Education, health, and of course, the democratic environment is the that is principal thing for everything. It is not restored its previous position, and people are very very much fed up, and that is being reflected. So that's why the terror tactics of the BJP still on, still on, because that is the only way to suppress the. Forces of the Democratic parties and the left. Uh, you were also the. Uh, you were talking about the uh, uh, BJP misleading uh, the tribal people. You are also the national chairperson of uh, Adivasi Adhikar Rashtriya Manch, yeah. uh, a joint platform of state level organizations fighting for uh, tribal issues. Could yeah. you tell us uh, what are the most Im important issues faced by uh, tribal people across the country and what the left is doing? To take up those issues. Actually, now uh, in the recently held elections, the five states also have seen mostly in the three uh, states of the Hindi heartland. Majority of the tribal voters or majority of the tribal seats it has gone to the BJP. What is the mechanism? What was the uh, their uh, how to say strategy there? Actually, what BJP is doing. likewise it, among the broader section of population they are dividing the people in the name of the hindu and muslim or different way similarly now it is very much aggressive among the adivasis also tribals also that a section of our tribal population in our country in northeast almost in all states in some states northeast they are Almost the tribals are almost 90 to 95 percent are converted to Christian for last many decades in Mizoram, Nagaland, then Meghalaya. Then similar they are in Manipur, Arunachal Pradesh also to some extent in Assam also in our state also. They are for last few decades. the charts are be become very popular but very particularly among the new generation because their approach of the education and other thing so that's why the bjp is playing the card of the christian anti christian card hindu card and they are they have from one uh, that is outfit in the name of the janojati suraksha manch and that janojati suraksha manch they have There is a slogan of the delisting of the Adivasis who have converted to the Christians. So, the similar tactics it is being played in the other Hindi heartland also. This way, they are trying to trying to they are trying to polarize the Adivasis in the fold of the so-called they are Hindu Hindi Hindu Stan slogans. So that is. Very, very much, they are active in Tripura, and you have seen in Manipur also the Manipur's that divide, that turmoil between the Meite and Kuki. The only part of the same game on the game only. So we the Adivasi Adhikara Stream Manch, we are our effort is our emphasis is that why BJP RSS is doing this thing because. This RS, this BJP government, since 2014, 
not a single claims of the Adivasis under forest right they have settled. There are lakhs of Adivasi families yet to be, that is, get the patta, that means the claims of uh, their claims in the forest, of, under forest rights. It is waiting, and this BJP government outrightly they are not only denying it, rather trying to, that is, what I'll say, uh, suffocate it in the name of the uh, uh, this new act, new amendment of the Forest Conservation Act, etc. And they are in many places in the big states, in Maharashtra, in Madhya Pradesh, in Jharkhand, Odisha, etc. In our northeastern part also, in the name of this Conservation Act, they are trying to deny the forest right to the Adivasi families. And Adivasis essentially almost 95 to 98 percent, they are the uh, rural population only. And Mandraga, Emenraga is one of their uh, hotels, uh, very important source of income. During this regime, Modi government, and the, the Emenraga, it is another area which is under attack, is allocation have been reduced to almost half. And there are so many technical glitches are being imposed, which putting barrier, putting obstacle that Adivasis are not being able to enjoy the fruits of that legislation of the 100 days job guarantee. That's why thousands of Adivasis are migrating from their states in search of job, etc. And this way, it is not only affecting to their livelihood, it is affecting to the children very much, their education, their health, everything, and their culture. So, to divert all this thing, now RSS BJP bringing this Christian, non-Christian, that is the listing issue. We Adivasi Adhikar Astriyamans vehemently opposing this thing and trying to unite the Adivasis across the country along with the other democratic forces that unless this attempt of the BJP RSS is not combated, the very right, either it is Mondraga, either it is Forest Right Act, and either any basic rights, it would not be that is uh, useful for the people. Thank you, comrade. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. Thank you.